Hi there, it's Luke from the One Page Report and I'm going to show you a dashboard that we've built in Excel 2007. So at the moment what you're seeing is the front screen of the dashboard. If I click on Print Preview uh, we see what we're referring to as a scorecard. Um, if I zoom in you can see that this is a scorecard for Luke. Um, this is his performance for each of these different projects. Overall his performance and down below we see his uh, KPI scores for each of the projects that he's working on. Now if I uh, close that print preview I can change this to another student. Let's pick Darren, click OK, look at print preview again and we notice that all of the information has changed and we're now seeing uh, a scorecard for Darren. If we wanted to we could click on um, print at this point and this will go to a PDF um, and once that PDF is created we could email that off to Darren and if you've got a database in your business you could have a macro that runs overnight and sends these PDFs off each day. You could also have the information that's populating the scorecard um, updated each night as well. Uh, so let's just quickly open up the PDF and as you can see that right there is one pretty good looking PDF scorecard that's been created in Excel. So let's go back to the Excel file. Um, the other thing we notice here is that it's dynamic. So as you can see we're looking at KPI scores for Darren. If we change this back to Luke we might notice that his scores are looking pretty low for enterprise automation. So how do we go about looking into enterprise automation? Well, we click on the pivot table link over here, double click on enterprise, uh, enterprise automation, and let's drill into tasks. We can drill into various components, but we're gonna drill into tasks right now. Here are all the tasks that he's been working on, and we see he's getting a very low score for root cause analysis. Um, and he's also getting a low score for strategic vision. So here we can see the actual minutes that he's worked on various project tasks and his performance uh, for each one. So that's just one example of how you can use this system to not only produce a scorecard but also drill into details. If we drill into pivot charts um, we might uh, come down to this chart and right click on one of the lines and add a trend line. Uh, the type of trend line that I want Excel to add for me is called a polynomial one. I'm going to give it an order of six and I want to show the equation on the chart. So very quickly what I've just done is I've created a formula which I could then use for forecasting or projecting information into the future. Uh, let's go back to the top, click on home, and if you want to leave people any notes, of course, you could just click on notes as well. And as you see from my notes here, if you'd like more information on this dashboard or how you can, in fact, create your own, go to the onepagereport.com. Thanks very much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in another video.